Tology lovers, so now that I've completed the hieroglyphic keyboard, I'm moving on to the next phase of my projects. And uh, I purchased a 3D printer here with a uh, dark uh, gray hard resin and soft for uh, casting in silver and gold. Uh, this is the printer right here, the Elugu. I also have some designs. My first one I'm going to make is this uh, Sphinx, which I found really cool. I'm going to print that one out and have a Sphinx on my table. There's also the mask of Tutankhamun I might do as well. This one's going to cost a bit of money to buy, though. But uh, yeah, it's something nice to do. Also, there is a keychain you can make. So a nice keychain that goes on a ring. Here's a sample of it right there. It's pretty cool. It's got a ring. You can put your name on it and carry it. Um, also, there's an Anubis chess piece, a really nice one. Uh, there's another one here, which is pretty uh, pretty uh, basic, but no, it's nice as well. It's got the nice look as well. And finally, a pharaoh, so that might do that as well. But right now, I'll start off with this, and I'll show you guys uh, the process once I get to the 3D printing. So let's Guys, so I finally put my uh, choices here. So I have the uh, pharaoh that I'm going to basically uh, put on here. I have the uh, Anubis, and I have the uh, the Sphinx on there. And my friend asked me to print this D&D uh, &D uh, game, Barbarian. So that'll be all together, and it'll print right over here. And I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done. So we'll st uh, until then. Hey, everyone. So the first print is done. It's the Anubis chess piece. Uh, we're going to have a look at it right now. I'm going to lift this up and see what it looks like. I'm going to go that way. All right, so here we go. There we are, and then you can see it right there. Now we're gonna remove this little end area. And there it is, the Anubis piece. I'm gonna cut that out and then I'm going to uh, remove these uh, supports and then we should be able to see it fully once it cures. I'm gonna put it in this alcohol right over here, right in there, and that should clean it. All right, I'll get back to you guys with that. All right, guys, so there's the Anubis piece. Uh, it needs to cure a little more, but these are basically support frames. I'm just gonna cut with these uh, snippers right here. So I finished washing it in the alcohol. So yeah, so look, you can see the real nice detail here. It's gonna get better and not a lot nicer tomorrow. So I'm just gonna show you it here fully. I could actually probably even use it as a stamp for wax. And this is very strong plastic, so this can uh, can endure. So you can do a full chest piece uh, with this. But this is the Anubis uh, piece, and I'll come back with this, guys, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's uh, snipped off. All right, guys, so there's the finished product for the Anubis. You can see how beautiful that detail is on the face right there and on the chest in the area. This is a chest piece, so even over here, his back, very nicely done, beautiful detail. Um, this could be used as a stamp as well, but there you go, Anubis. You can paint it as well. So this still needs to cure a little more. By tomorrow, it should be beautifully detailed more. Uh, so yeah, this could be used as a uh, as a stamp piece, chess piece, pretty much anything. So and paint it as well. All right, so there it is, the Anubis. Uh, All right, the print is started. It's saying it's going to be two hours and thirty minutes just for the Sphinx. So I'll do that one first before I put them all together. So I'll do a video for progress. So the final print for the uh, Sphinx is complete. So we'll just pull that out here and have a look at that. And there you go. That's the Sphinx. Um, looks real good. Again, once it dries, it looks a lot better. So we're gonna go ahead and let it dry. And then from there, I'm going to remove these little posts on the bottom and lay it down. Oh, see, even the, the leg didn't really work that well, see? That print right there. Sometimes it happens with these uh, prints. Anyways, it's no big deal. The majority of it turned out really nice. So let's have a look at that. Hey guys, so I finished two more prints here. I'll show you what they look like. This is my Pharaoh and also my Barbarian for my friend. You could see how nice the cape came out. It held it really, really well. So um, yeah, I'm gonna take that off and put it in the, uh, in the vat. So it should look real good. So Check. now we're gonna do uh, the Thothmosis ring. So this is the uh, famous ring for Thothmosis, the swivel ring, it actually swivels. So this section here is gonna go over in between here and you place a wire in between uh, through the hole. I basically made this and then this should spin around. So we're gonna print this out and see what it looks like and uh, 
We'll see if it's gonna look good. I'll do it on hard wax and then if it looks good, then I'll just print it on a soft wax where I can actually, or resin I mean, where I could cast in gold or silver. So. Hey everybody, so welcome back. So there you go. Now I have the final completion of the uh, pieces I was going to make for the waxing here, uh, for the 3D modeling. So here is the, um, the, the Sphinx. You could see him, but his, one of his legs didn't come out right, but that's him right there. He's still drawing a bit in the sun, but there's the Sphinx with his nemesis on his head and the beard. Um, there is the, of course, the Anubis uh, piece. You can see the back of it, really nice. These are chess pieces. And then over here you have the Pharaoh wearing the double crown of Egypt. This is another chess piece right there. And this I now made for my friend over here. Sorry, these guys are falling apart here. There, they're falling, I mean, over. So there you go, this is the Barbarian. So that's also something for his D&D that he wanted to play. Very nice detail. You can see that little skull in the bottom and his sword and his shield. And finally, my favorite one is the uh, Thothmosis ring. So this ring is a replica of the ring for the Pharaoh Thothmosis III. It's a swivel ring, so it swivels. I put a little needle in between because I have to cast it as two separate pieces so you can see it swivels like that and then i can wear it and i'll show you put it on my finger and there you go and they would use this for waxing so stamp so they stamp down onto the wax their signias so you can flip that around and and that's pretty much a replica of what is online so uh what you see at the museum or in the pictures on the internet so there you go so these are the completion of the the pieces and uh yeah so maybe watch the video and see the process of it all the rest of the video